I just mentioned the organizations. When you hear Aliwa Traders Association, it's an economic entity of its own. Yeah. Cattle Dealers Association of Nigeria is an economic entity of its own. Okada Riders, Owners, uh, Riders and Owners Association is an entity of its own. We talk of Ganfulani. If you don't know what Ganfulani is, the umbrella body of all Fulanis, and everybody knows that we feed Nigeria and the other part of Nigeria with meat. So we are economically viable. Standing on our own, we have nobody bankrolling anything. We are bankrolling ourselves. And if Namdekanu is produced to us, we will pay. Because we know we have the capacity to do so. Whether you and I, and every Nigerian that is honest enough, that is sincere enough, that wish to speak the truth, knows that even if the Igbo elders declared that it is politically in nature, the killings are politically in nature, why they, are they not killing the Igbos? Why are they killing the Hausas? Why are they killing the Fulanis? Why are they killing Northerners? What has the political nature of South East got to do with a Northerner or a Fulani man that has been declared as a terrorist going after the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria provide that every Nigerian has every right to reside anywhere, do business, do intermarriages. And these other Igbos and Yorubas are in the north doing the same thing. And we have not hindered them. We have not touched them. In fact, we are protecting them. Then why are they killing and destroying the property of our people and killing our people? Even if it is politically motivated, then it should be motivated politically among them. It shouldn't be against other Nigerians that are residing in that side. So we, and beside, all the ones that have been so far arrested by the security agencies have within their own self declared that they are members of IPOB, they are member of, members of ECN, and they are being bankrolled by Innam Dikanu. They even go ahead to explain in detail how they get their money. These things are everywhere in social media. The security agencies arrest, arrest these guys. They interview them with phone. They, this phone. These videos are flying everywhere. You saw one, I'm very sure. And everybody here have seen such different kind of videos. So even if the elders of the East are saying that uh, it is politically motivated, then the motiv political motivation shouldn't interfere with the life and property of any northerner. First and foremost, we are using this very medium to also call on our brothers, our aggrieved Fulani brothers that are in the north and doing what is not supposed to be done before the fact that they were also being destroyed in the past. Because if you follow history, if you go by history, you will realize that what is happening today by the Fulanis, they were equally touched before by the non fulanis of the north in the past between this is the issue of uh, farmer uh, header clashes that was the beginning of the problem so this is history uh, history is there for you so we are calling and we know that the federal government is doing all that they can the last i can recall the president gave an order of whoever is cited with ak-47 that is not supposed to be seen with is not a security agent should be sought on site Short on site does not necessarily mean uh, it has to be with the other parts of the country. The same thing when the president said, we will speak to them in the language they understand. What I understand with that statement that we will talk to them in the language that they understand is, means to say whoever carries weapon, whether a Hausa man, a Yoruba man, or an Igbo man, or any Nigerian that carries any weapon without permission that is not supposed to carry, the language he understands is the language of the weapon. Then the government have those who are perfect in the weapon language. And they will speak to them in that weapon language that they understand. That is my own understanding of the word. We will be talking to you in the language that you understand if you allow, refuse to allow Nigeria to rest. That is my understanding of that. And by so doing, it means whoever you are, from wherever you are, for as long as you carry weapon that you are not supposed to be carrying, you are not entitled authoritatively, then those that are allowed are entitled to carry will te teach you that language of how 
to carry or why you should not carry the weapon.